Please hold your line. 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 Please Probably across the world. Due to data sharing concerns, the United States may ban TikTok and other sh- social media apps. Representatives from TikTok, who are some Americans, say they do not share people's data and even cite it where, the, where, users, where users' data is stored. But as people become more concerned about their personal information, the government is still trying to make an effort to regulate sites that sell or use people's personal data for their own goals. This is another story that you may want to check out. There's a lot of people's data online. I always, my big thing is if it's free, there's probably a possibility that they're using your information. You may want to read the fine print. Story number two. How COVID-19 is changing the course of everyone's future. Big, big story. Schools in Kenya remain closed until 2021. They will remain closed until 2021. That is a big gap in education, even if it's not in the United States. Trump is putting a lot of pressure on governors to reopen schools in the fall. He has threatened to cut funding. That's how that's how serious this is getting. And he has a lot of different opinions to face in this uh, in his threats. There are a lot of people feel that when you should send people back to school should be when things are absolutely safe for them to go back into a school environment. But as you can see, there's always different sides and different opinions inside of the great USA. Three percent of Americans reportedly moved due to COVID-19. So COVID-19 is really ruffling a lot of feathers and changing the course of a lot of people's uh, future. Uh, Some people have been sitting idle and then they find out they have to move because of uh, circumstances, the job may leave. So there's a lot happening in story number two and that's why it made into the top uh, eight this week. Story number three. Are other nations, including China, really a threat to the United States? FBI Director Christopher Wray says that China is the biggest long-term threat to the United States because of espionage, that's spying. He also stated in one report that half of the Bureau's 5,000 counterintelligence cases were connected to China. In the report, he has also he also says there is a high probability that China may have your personal data due to 21 million personal records stolen from the U.S. Office of Personal management. This is another story that you may want to uh, check into when it comes to your personal information. In the midst of a global pandemic, Trump has reportedly withdrawn the U.S. from the World Health Organization. There is a lot of opposition to this decision set to take place July 6th of 2021. The saga continues. It's been six years since the U.S. Navy has been in the South China Sea, but according to a CNN report, two U.S. naval aircraft carriers have have now or is currently in South China Sea and has been there for some time as a display of military might in the region. That's another story that is really, really highlighting what's happening inside of story number three when it comes to Uh, global affairs and relations with other countries there's a lot happening with the china and the with china and the united states mexico's president flew commercially to meet with trump this had a lot to do with trade deals justin trudeau also skipped the meeting for for trade talks due to his concerns he said it was because of coronavirus according to the report so you can see a lot happening in story number three when it comes to our neighbors and other countries and uh the beef that some uh, if you want to use a better good term the beef that uh other nations may have with the united states or the beef that the united states may have with other uh nations this is another story that uh really really centers in on the relations and uh, what is happening on a global scale when it comes to trade policies 
and uh, foreign leaders getting getting along. So keep an eye on story number three. Story number four. Outside of COVID-19, there is still a drug and crime war going on. Big, big story. 2.26 billion. That's 2.26 billion in methamphetamine seized after sniffed out by police dogs in Slovakia. That's a big, big headline. Six arrested after a torture chamber was found by Dutch police. I feel bad for whoever was in that chamber. They had uh, dental uh, scissors. They had a dental chair. You know, they were doing some big time torture in this chamber. Very, very scary story. A mentally ill man in Chicago beat a toddler to death in another crime filled week in multiple areas in Chicago, Illinois. That's another big developing story. The, ci the city has reported eight reported 18 people killed and 45 people wounded in a 24 hour period, according to Fox News. So you can see what's some of these stories, the war on drugs and the war on crime just doesn't seem to be letting up in the wild, wild west. And uh, it's very, very, it's very, it's a jungle out there. Futurism reports spikes in murders in major U.S. cities since the spread of COVID-19 was labeled a pandemic. I'll say that one more time. There's a lot of things going on in the wild, wild west, a.k.a. the jungle. There's a lot of people who trying to survive and stay afloat but there's a lot of opposition so stay safe out there kansas city may be recording its deadliest year on record the city is nearly at the 100 mark homicide rate so very all this death and people are still finding something to fight for which it leaves you at the end of the day to wonder does this what they're fighting for actually exist is it all an illusion so see a lot happening in story number four drive-by in california leaves two dead and some others wounded according to multiple reports in the last headline inside of story number four a report by bloomberg shows that young americans are partying hard and also spreading covid19 stay safe out there inside of story number four and that's why it made it to the top eight this week i'll be right back i'm going to take a quick break i'll be right back with the top Top four stories, international headlines, and developing news stories that made it this week. Don't go anywhere. You're the mediator with me, Brian West. I'll be right back. If you want to check out the stories that almost made it in or did make it in, go to our Twitter feed on our website. Check out everything. All of the sources are there. If you go to the website, it's M E T H O D, the number eight, INC.com, method eight, com, where you can buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor the program. <laughs> Welcome back. Welcome back. Now it's time to get to the top, top four international headlines and developing news stories that made it in this week. So let's waste no time. You can do it. Let's get to it. Story number five. Broken homes remain a top concern in America. Big, big concern. A man from Indiana has shot a man who was cheating on his wife with cheating with his wife hours after they separated. This seems to be the case in a lot of scenarios in the in America. Big big developing story. Trump administration set to combat suicide rates with a new program. Suicide remains a top concern not only in America but in a lot of depressed countries. There are talks from each side of the aisle on how the family structure inside of America has been seeing a downward shift. A lot of advocates are concerned about this issue. This is why story number five made it in this week. The family, the bonding, the love, the effect, the hate, the feelings sitting in the mirror and saying, I love everybody is on everybody's mind. That's why story number five made it in this week. Story number six, the environment remains a top concern. Supreme Court strikes down Trump's hopes to move forward with the Keystone oil pipeline due to environmental concerns. UN sounds the alarm on animal to human diseases. They say that diseases will continue to pop up if humans uh, 
do not take action to preserve the environment. Uh, the report focused on a number of diseases that came from animals known as zoonotic diseases. This is another big developing story that a lot of people should be keeping an eye on because they may increase fines for polluting or, or plastics. So uh, keep an eye on this story. It has a lot to do with environmental issues. Mystery surrounds Botswana after hundreds of elephants were found dead as of the data as of, as of the date reported, no one knows why the elephants were dying or are even dying as we speak, as this show airs. So keep an eye on this story, too. A lot going on in the environment. Animals caring for um, our are the people who we partner with on this planet, animals who sometimes people don't feel that their life is worth anything, but there's a lot of activists on the battlefield for animal rights and uh, with these animals, with the, the with the lands, the habitat. So keep an eye on story number six, a very, very important story. New report by Gizmodo says that the oil industry may pose a threat to polar bears in their dens. So uh, story number six is one of those stories that we sleep on. And uh, a lot of humans become, become so complacent and so uh, satisfied and so content with their own lives that they forget that we share the earth with tons of other animals and uh, how important that their lives is to connected to ours. And sometimes this catches up to us. And a lot of people are blaming this uh, because of what we see in the COVID-19 saga. So keep an eye on story number six. Big, big headline. Big, big developing news. Story. story number seven and the top two international headlines and developing news stories that made it in this week. Poverty is a huge problem and may be getting worse due to COVID-19. Numerous new studies blame increased poverty rates on race and ethnicity. This remains a hot topic and a key factor in the United States' struggle to defeat hunger problems across America. The key to this developing story is the fact that Washington has spent hundreds of billions of dollars on unemployment insurance and other ways to aid those living in poverty. Republicans and Democrats continue to fight it out when it comes to food stamp programs and government government aid assistance programs aimed at those in poverty. This is another story that uh, really tugs at the coat of people trying to get some help. Jesus save us. Story number seven is a big, big developing story. Story number eight. Why is art and history important? Big, big story. Something that may look so easy when put on display for the world to see may have actually taken a lifetime to create. This is the case when preserving history and art. Even in ancient Kemet, better known as Egypt, the artifacts remain a mystery till this day. That's why story number eight is so important because art and history is still very, very important to the build up and to try not to repeat it. Another headline, Britain will provide $2 billion to rescue the art around their communities and in their country. Some have even come to the aid of the Christopher Columbus statues to get the, the topple statues into a museum or historically safe place. This is another big, big headline. Statue of Frederick Douglass reportedly torn down along with many other historical monuments across the nation is a top, top concern for some people who value art. A lot of people who value and understand how art develops over time and how it uh, makes it is creates more value over time because it shows what happens at that particular time frame. So this is why story number eight is such a big, big story. Washington Redskins and Cleveland Indians are considering changing their name. That's another headline that shines a lot of light on what's happening in story number eight. Even the uh, Indians uh, have a, a voice in this uh, in this topic. Reports by CNN says that a Russian billionaire wants to buy a few of some of the statues that Americans are toppling for his art collection. So he wants to take this art and uh, put it in his own museum and his art in his art foundation. So uh, this is another story that really, really homes in on why his history and art is so important, even to some people outside of, uh, of society, people who don't even know what's going on, or they just may be uh, historical gurus or art gurus, and they may value uh, such products and such uh, things that are put on display because of the uh, historical value, and you never know how much it could be worth in the past. It's a, and this is why Story of Rate is such a big, big story, because as 
society rebels another society is watching and waiting to see how things uh, settle so that's why sternum rate is so important france set to rename streets after african-american world war ii heroes this is another story homes in on the value that people see and not only uh, the buildup of their nation but why history is history is so important a report in the bbc says that finland has quietly dropped its swastika symbol from its airports uh the symbol means the swastika symbol means various things depending on the culture but it is well known as a nazi symbol uh, in germany so a nazi germany symbol so uh, story number eight another big headline another big story to keep an eye on and that's why i made it to the top this week because art and history is still important but uh, it may not be as important to some people but people who understand the nature of art and understand the value and time that artists put in and that's why story number eight is such a big big headline and uh, the, the talking point is that uh, if anybody knows the Vincent Van Gogh story, he passed away by suicide because he wanted to get his art out there and he later committed suicide because he didn't feel his art was worth anything. And then when he died, his art was worth much more because people uh, recognized the value and how hard it was at that time t to see that art flourish. So all of the art guru gurus out there I uh, shot you out, and I thank you for being active in uh, seeing the history unfold as time unfolds. So story number eight is a big, big story, and that's why I made it to the top this week. Well, I want to thank you so much for uh, tuning in this week, and I hope you got something out of the top eight headlines in developing news stories. As usual, I'd like to thank all the news outlets, the journalists, the people on the front lines. You deserve all the credit. I am just the mediator. I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the mediator this week. As usual, if you want to show some support, go to our website, buy something, click on something, watch something, read something, or just sponsor a program. Stay safe, show love, and be loved. And remember, there's a lot of love in mediation. I'm going to take a break and be right back, read 200 or more stories again next week, and come back again with the top eight next Sunday. So I want to thank you so much for tuning in to the mediator with me, Brian West. I am out of here. Stay safe, show love. Peace. Have no fear, fellow citizens.